skating. Another form of sport and ice, this time using the age-old compulsion of one man to travel faster than another over a given distance. Here you get all the thrills and excitement of head-to-head -head competition and at speeds which can be dangerous. Competitors in this sport need to learn their own particular skating techniques. They need to be extremely fit and above all must be highly motivated. The will to win is everything, especially when Scotland's skating against England. Speed skating was originally an outdoor activity, developed first in Scandinavia, but then adapted to indoors as international interest in the sport grew. The track is normally 110 metres, and just as in athletics, races can be over sprint, middle or long distances. Tactics can be as important as technique, and it makes an exciting and entertaining spectator sport. Like most competitive ice skaters, the speed men need great dedication since both technical and fitness training needs to be regular. Team tactics are discussed and decided before going on the ice, but may have to be altered at the last second. A breakaway sprint in this sport can decimate an unwary opposition, and the cat and mouse of speed skating is one of its great attractions. In this particular international at Aviemore, Scotland were comprehensively beaten by England. That is no reflection on the efforts or abilities of one of Britain's outstanding speed skaters, Scotland's Archie Marshall. Archie, how did you start speed skating? Well, my father represented Britain at speed skating when I was 11 years old at the time. And I took up when I was 11 in America. And how long did it take you to reach international standard? Six years. Now, how do you, have you found the facilities in Great Britain for training? No, I can offer lot. So how do you manage to become a, an international without the facilities? Well, I showed enough promise in indoor skating, uh, and they gave me the chance to go abroad with the British team mm -hmm. and train in Holland. So you, in fact, don't do indoor skating? I still do it, but only after the outdoor season's finished. Mm -hmm. And what is the difference between indoor and outdoor? Well, outdoor skating is done always in a 400-metre track, just the same as a running track, mm -hmm. and it's against the clock, whereas indoor is in usually in a 110-metre track, and it's four or five men on the track at one time. Is it a popular sport in Great Britain? Uh, in England, it's, it's quite popular. Mm -hmm. But not south of the border? I mean, north of the border? No, no not really. It's fell away because the ice rinks are all the time, that's just for curling. So where do you do most of your training? At Irvine in here, when I'm in school. And if there's no training there, do you go abroad at all? No, only with the team. Mm -hmm. Is it an expensive sport to start? Not initially, no, because most, if you want to start it, somebody will give you a pair of speed skates, an mm -hmm. old pair of speed skates to start, see if you like it, and how you go on for the first year. Well, let's say you wanted to totally outfit yourself for speed skating, what would you need? Well, you need a racing suit, uh, which is about 60 pounds. Mm -hmm. Skates, hundred pound. This is for international class, mm -hmm. and obviously track suit, track shoes, because you need all the stuff to train with, because you run all the accessory trainings. And you go at quite a speed around the track. Do you use any padding at all in case you crash? No, 
Some boys use safety and crash helmets, but mm -hmm. it's not very common. And what are the differences between a, a skating, a speed skating uh, pair of skates and uh, an ordinary recreational pair? Well, as you can see, the, the recreation skates are much thicker. Mm -hmm. twice the blades thick, are, yeah. yes. And the length of the speed skate for better glide. And it's also a lot harder and holds a finer edge. Would it be very hard, I mean, much harder to start learning in those, to a pair of those? Oh, yes, mm -hmm. because the, an the ankle support is much lower, mm -hmm. so your feet would tend to fall in all the time. Well, I think I'll stick the recreational bit, pairs of uh, skates. Do you think you could give me a few hints how to get down to do the speed skating positions? Yes, yeah, certainly. Okay, thank you. Before I give you any tuition, let's just see how good you are. Okay, what do you want me to do? One lap? Would that One be lap enough? on the watch. Okay, you time that. Okay. So your mark, set, go. was that? 31 seconds. 31? Oh, well, that's not that bad then. What were the basic mistakes that I was making there? I think you have to generally relax more. Mm-hmm. And bend your legs. Okay. Sit down and swing your arms. Okay, so the stance would be what? Further down like this? A sit. A sit, uh-huh. And you've got to relax so you're not so stiff. Mm -hmm. And how would you move the legs? Just push them forward? You just to the side. I think so. Uh -huh. And the arms, where do they go? They come forward. Speed skating is a sport for the specialist in this country. There are many difficulties to overcome to be successful. Training is necessary, but facilities are few. Competition is essential, but opportunities are limited. All the real top-class speed skating action takes place abroad, and it can be prohibitively expensive to travel for the competition and experience. But that doesn't deter the real enthusiasts like Archie Marshall. To attain the high standards of the British team is not easy, and a great deal of hard work and sacrifice goes into the preparation of an international speed skater, many of whom have bigger reputations abroad than at home. Speed skating is a fiercely competitive, high-ability sport which deserves more encouragement, more support, and more recognition of its potential. This team. Oh, yes. This team. Let's get your arms a bit. Do it. With your foot. No. Move your right arm. Move your right arm. So you want to try it first, just sit and no, just move your arms. Oh, you can just sit and go. Do that.
Well, Archie, I've had the tuition now. Let's see how good a teacher you are. OK. Do one more lap. Two marks. Set. Go. You're still five seconds quicker. Was I really? Yeah. Oh, well, you're a very good teacher. Thanks a lot, Archie. <laughs> One thing about winter sports, it certainly gives you an appetite. So let's go get a bite to eat. Okay. Mm. 